Hi, this is the third time I've tried to make this video. I think the lesson is that I can't actually record a video while I'm uploading a video. It does something to the feed or the stream. <clears throat> and I don't have a script for this video either. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what my point is. So I'm just hoping that once I tell, tell this anecdote that um, it will become clear what, what I'm talking about. And that is... Um, multi-dating and maintaining boundaries. And I realize I still haven't done a video on multi what multi-dating is yet. And I'm just hoping that you can infer from this story what multi-dating is. And um, what happened here is I remembered this during the video I just did on ultimatums, but I'm glad that I'm doing it separately because it doesn't quite fit in with ultimatums. But it was in a way like someone kind of pushed me and pushed me until my back was against the wall and then I kind of cut them off. So they were kind of advancing and and what they were doing was it was a young man, 20 years younger than me, but very successful running a tea shop. And he lived out of state, but was planning on moving to my town. Um, and so he and I were online um, dialoguing for about three months. And we just had a lot in common. And I loved how um, interesting he was. I love that he ran his own business and knew a lot about tea, knows a lot about tea because I drink a lot of tea and, and quizzed him a lot about different kinds. And he was very impressed that I had read the book of tea, which is a, actually a famous book. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so uh, he knew I was multi-dating and he began asking about my dates. So I would share information about my dates with him. And now that I look back on it, it might have been a mistake for me to initiate those conversations and rather wait for him to ask about them because it could have been a situation of too much information and he might have just gotten overwhelmed and felt that he had to inject his opinion because what happened or what started happening was he started making value judgments about how I was conducting myself on my dates and who I was being intimate with and how many dates I had had with them before I was intimate with them and just various details I don't want to get into because they are too personal. And he seemed to think that I was conducting myself in an immoral kind of way or that I was lowering myself or he basically was calling me a whore and um, without saying that word. And so I um, told him I didn't want I didn't want to talk to him anymore. And the reason for that is because I started internalizing at first when he started doing this. I started internalizing what he was saying to me and thinking that I was doing something wrong. And I started becoming very paranoid about men's intentions who I was dating. And it was causing me to shut down emotionally and not be as optimistic about my dating life as I'd like to be. And when I realized that he was having this effect on me, I realized that it wasn't anything I was doing wrong. He knew I was multi-dating when we first started talking. It was uh, obvious to me at that point that he was doing this as a kind of way to control me and um, he was due to move out here and let that date pass because he had uh, fears about leaving his business behind and just various personal things I don't want to get into. Um, <clears throat> in any case, he missed that date. So I also didn't have much faith that he was going to be moving out here like he said he would. So it made it a little bit easier for me to let him go. But this is the freedom of multi-dating. And this is something you have to... If you are going to multi-date, you have to be willing to do, which is hold on loosely, but don't let go, like the old song says. And except you do have to be ready to let people go when they are not fitting into the scheme of things. And what I mean by the scheme of things is this overall collage of multi-dating that you have going on. If something doesn't fit right in that picture, you can let it go. You can remove it from the collage. And... Um, there just wasn't a reason for me to have to put up with that kind of value judgment. So when you are multi-dating, like I said in my last video, multi-dating is a lifestyle choice. And you, um, if you want to multi-date and you want that freedom, have to be willing to accept that some people aren't going to be comfortable with it and be willing to let those people go. 
Now what's interesting as far as the cougar angle is that I don't find this phenomenon as much with older men as I do for younger men, which would seem to contradict my earlier video wherein I said that older men tend to be harder to gain an equal relationship with than younger men because younger men of a younger generation are a little more enlightened about women's rights and feminism and things like that. But the paradox is that older men have had more relationship experience and more sexual experience. And I, in my experience, have been more open-minded about me multi-dating and more secure in their, um, their own position in the multi-dating milieu than younger men. So that's an interesting paradox. I think there's an insecurity that younger men have that older men don't have, okay? So I think it boils down to insecurity. And I'm just not willing to play the role of uh, constantly patching up someone's ego all the time. I have, had, I have issues with that in my family, and I don't want to be someone's cheerleader. I'm not here on this planet to um, constantly patch up someone's ego and, and deal with their insecurities. And I really was able to see that that's what this guy was doing. He uh, wasn't able to be here in person, and he was remotely um, attempting to sabotage my multi-dating relationships and keep me to himself. And I saw that for what it was and was able to let him go. So when you are multi-dating, it's kind of like maintaining a garden and keeping the weeds out. And you have to have a lot of self-awareness to multi-date because you have to be able to um, self-reflect and say, oh, I'm reacting to this person this way, but it's not my fault. Or, oh, it is my fault and I need to adjust this. So I find that multi-dating allows a lot of objectivity that um, dating one person at a time uh, doesn't have. A lot of times if I'm dating one person, I lose objectivity and start making excuses for things that um, maybe shouldn't be excused away. So this video is mostly about um, just maintaining your right to multi-date and with that freedom comes some responsibility to be introspective on your own and uh, pull the weeds out when you need to and let people go when you need to. And um, I think that's about it. So thank you for watching.